Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Ring 2 episode 10 of Love Live Nijigasaki School Idol Club. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh god, Kasumi. Oh my god, Kasumi, and then Kasumi from Bundity. And then yesterday, freaking Rinku from D4DJ. Jesus, what is wrong with y'all? Y'all don't like to study? She tried, though. Like, it's okay. She just gotta do better. It happens to all of us. We have that one day where, you know, we take a test or an exam or whatever. And then you find out that score, and you're like, oh, fuck. Now, okay, here's hoping, maybe, just maybe, um, either one of two things happens today. The group sings together as a whole, or our character, us, you, sings. Because I did know by, like, uh, episode two that Yu's character is a singer as well, so it would be nice... If they let her sing. I mean, I feel like she's also going to get one of those eye catch cards um, at the end of the episode, possibly. Because since you've already done nine episodes for each girl, what is the eye catch for the end going to be? What's up? I thought we were going on vacation, like, to... Yeah! Yeah! Nobody didn't have like a really nice villa. What's up, Rena? What did you make? What? No. Setsuna? Setsuna? Oh, that looks so good. I ate, and I ate a wrap and some mixed fruit, no, some mixed berries, and a couple of slices of turkey pepperoni, and that's gonna satisfy me until I possibly eat dinner, aka a shake or some cabbage. I wouldn't drink that or eat it. Really? Oh, thank you. Got it. Mm -hmm. You eat that for me. Eat that for me, please. Because I would love to have sugar. The only thing that was in season out of my mixed berries was like... The strawberries. The strawberries taste good. The blackberries didn't taste good. The raspberries are like, okay. And then the blueberries are just like, eh. The strawberries are good. But next time, I think I'm just going to get grapes. Always, no matter what, get grapes. <laughs> grapes are apples.
No. Mina. No, he's so cute. He's so gay. I can't see. As a couple. Look <laughs> at my third year. My third year! Maybe you should call Kasumi or even Rena. Hmm? Ah, you were trying to scare them. It's gonna look cute because all three of you look cute. Of course. Yeah, but what about you, you? What do you want to do? This is our reference to freaking original Love Live because it's, you know, it's not, it's walking out. Oh my god.
She's right. Mm-hmm. And it seems like you really like the piano. <laughs> Every school at night feels so strange. Oh! You would think Ayama would want to possibly take you aside, like, uh, kind of when they got back and be like, hey, you know, I saw you two together. What was that? I'm a little jealous. Mm -hmm. You just gotta talk to her, Ayana. It didn't mean nothing. To you, it might have. Because, of course, you're observing, but... Sure, Kasumi. I know
四名。Of course. Oh, yeah. Oh my god! Mm -hmm. I mean, we know she eventually does because, you know, she ends up calling freaking Muse and Aquas. Even though I don't think that's going to happen in the anime, but, you know, it's different in the game. They honestly will never forget this day. Really, not even the night, but just still. Oh, 
I am more. So we are we're literally drawing that up into next week's. Okay. I mean, it makes sense because she's still jealous. But I was thinking that Ayamu would have, you know, been a little bit, not a an adult, but because of the fact that Ayamu is still somewhat shy and she doesn't face if her and one of her friends got into a situation, which you got that right there. She doesn't immediately go and kind of sort out the situation. She kind of lets it build up for a little bit, which we're going to see the conclusion next week, which is I'm okay with. It just would have been better to just go ahead and nip it in the button now instead of waiting until later, but I get that. It's okay. Do what you want to do. It's all right. I got no problems with that. But still, for an episode on you, this is good. I think probably this is her my person mm, top five. Even though it would have been nice to hear her say you sing, but no, that's okay. Not mad at it. I can listen to songs that she's, you know, written. So it kind of can count. But it was nice. I mean, she's a very important vital character to not only this group, but also the game in a nutshell because that's us as the player. But yeah. It was a really sweet episode. Just need Ayamu to talk to her. That's your girlfriend. So, you know, if you got problems, you talk to her. Aw. Here you go. You're so cute. I mean, I don't know. I feel like when Ayamu and you do talk next week, it might be... Okay, so if I... Okay, I mean, because this, this other anime that I'm about to talk about has been out for a while. I don't know exactly how many years, but it might be, like, the moment in season two of Free when Makoto and Haru had their first, like, kind of bickery fight. I don't mean... I, I'm like... Do I think they're going to yell at each other? Maybe. I think maybe possibly Ayamo might do most of the yelling and then you might be like doing a little teeny tiny bit to the point where they might both like start to cry because sometimes like, you know, I've done that with a friend where <laughs> we've kind of yelled at each other and the next, you know, we start crying and we embrace and it's like, it's okay, I love you. It's like that. But you're you're only saying it because you really care for that person. And, I mean, we all know Ayamu is in love with you. I mean, because they've been friends like this for a long time. But you can see that, you know, they are a couple, even though they're not a couple. But they are a couple. They just belong together. And this will be possibly their first fight where they're going to, you know... Ayamu feels a little certain type of way and that's okay to be jealous of someone because of the fact is you feel like somebody is coming in not to ruin your friendship but maybe stepping in and possibly taking your place. It's almost how um, Yo was feeling about Rico until you know Chica and Rico um, Chica and you Yo finally had that conversation and then you know yeah all three of them were just like this they're really good friends and ish but I mean that's a that's a love triangle right there, and this is a love triangle right here. I mean, I don't know. We we just got to wait until next week. But I think no matter what, whatever happens, it's going to be for the greater good. This is something that is in their way right now, and they're the only two that will be able to solve this solution so that we can see how in the world it concludes. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 10 of Love Live Nijigasaki School Idol Club. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 11. Bye, guys.